welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. I want to talk about, uh, this is something I've been getting emails about lately. People are interested in uh, short float and short squeezes and whether you can trade the short float. You can, but you have to do it carefully and it's probably not right for most people. So be cautious with this. All right, don't just do it if you don't know what you're doing and if you don't have a bank account or a brokerage account that can cover your position if you need to, okay? Uh, so there are people who short or short sell stocks, people and institutions like Citron and Melvin. Uh, these are uh, short sellers. And uh, it's a dangerous game to play, really, short selling stocks, because if the stock just keeps going up and up and up, now you have to cover your short position uh, at a more expensive price. And after a while, you just get squeezed out of your position. You have to uh, exit your position, probably for a sizable loss. All right, it's pretty extraordinary when a stock like GameStop, GME uh, stock, uh, got so expensive that even uh, institutional type of investors and short sellers like Citron and Melvin had to capitulate. They had to cover their uh, short positions, probably at a big loss. Uh, that's really something. You don't see that all the time. Although you've been seeing it a lot lately, though. It's pretty interesting. Uh, so here's what uh, GameStop stock looks like uh, up uh, 130 something percent in a day, and then a lot more than that over the past few days. And you get that hockey stick looking chart there. All right. This is the handle of the, the hockey stick, and this is the blade. It's really something. Uh, some other examples of a short squeeze would be Express, EXPR stock, over 200% up in a day. Uh, AMC stock, over 300% up in one day. Again, that, uh, that hockey stick type of formation here. Uh, and here's another one. I don't know if I could say the name of this stock on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, here it is again. And up over 250% in a single day. And then another 60% after hours. Wow. Okay. And those, I would suspect, are probably short squeezes. All right. People, uh, because not only was this news based, uh, but also just people who had short positions probably had to get out. Uh, you know, maybe their brokers forced them to get out, which is why uh, short selling stocks can be dangerous. Uh, even if you have the money to cover it, your broker might not simply allow you to just hold on to your position at a bigger and bigger loss uh, because they don't want to have to deal with that type of loss. They don't want to have to assume that level of risk. OK, so that's what a short squeeze is when the uh, short sellers uh, get forced out of their position. Uh, very expensively at, at their cost or at the broker's cost sometimes, all right? Or if the brokers force them out. So uh, how can you look for stocks like this? Well, when you see a stock starting to go up a lot, it may be a short squeeze. You want to check for news. You want to look on maybe Yahoo Finance or something like that. See if it's news driven. Sometimes it is, all right? But uh, with this stock, for example, the stock whose name I cannot say because <laughs> it's YouTube, um, yeah, you look at it and there hasn't been any news uh, of note on Yahoo Finance, at least, uh, for the past six days. All right. Uh, so that might be an indicator that this is nothing more than a short squeeze or there could be news and a short squeeze going on. All right. Uh, so how do you look for stocks like this? Well, you look in the news. You see what's going on. You can click on Yahoo Finance and just, you know, you click on the search box and look at the trending tickers. Some of the names I just mentioned, right? And GameStop was there, was on this uh, trending tickers list not long ago. EXPR was also on there, all right? Uh, you can check stock twits. That's another way to go. See what's trending there. Go on other websites, other financial websites, see what's trending, uh, or on Twitter, whatever it is, okay? Uh, and then another way to look for it is to uh, and, and then you would consider maybe going long if you want to play that uh, it's it's dangerous I won't lie to you okay it's not for most people but if you want to do it at least now you have some methodology and then another thing you can add to this is to go to finviz f-i-n-v-i-z dot com and uh, you go to well first you go to screener click on screener uh, and then under the um, under the under the descriptive tab you look for float short and you probably want to go with over 30 percent all right uh, and then if you have a I think if you have if you have a subscription maybe you could go 
custom with it and maybe even over 40%, over 50%, whatever. Uh, and then you narrow it down from there. But e even if you don't narrow it any more than just saying you want to look for over 30% short float, yeah, it, it gave me uh, 63 stocks altogether. That's a pretty short list al already. That's uh, four pages worth. So you look through them and you see what's what and see if there's anything there that uh, you might want to you know, I mean, you look at these and you see the the candles, right? You can see that right there. The the candles are just up, up and and away in some of them. Okay. Uh, so you check the charts and then you check the news and see what's going on and you decide whether this is truly a short squeeze, based on the news and based on, you know, it, if it still has over thirty percent short float, meaning uh, the the float, the the number of shares that uh, are available for trading. And that are not, uh, you know, restricted stock or you know, held by institutional investors and restricted. Uh, for example, if there's a lockup period, all right, uh, and the insiders, uh, you know, they, they may have shares that are not available uh, for trading because of that, all right. Uh, so if you have a 30% short float, that means that 30% of the shares that are available for trading of a stock uh, are short, okay. Uh, and so that's a pretty high amount if it's over 30, I would say. 30% of the shares available for trading are, uh, are short, are held by short sellers, uh, then it may be due for a squeeze, okay? Uh, and so when there's an up move, then they might have to cover their short positions and then the stock can keep going up and up and up. And I imagine something similar to that, if not exact, uh, happened in you know GameStop and uh, Express and AMC and the name that cannot be mentioned. <laughs> All right, so this is one way to start looking for them. Doesn't mean that you buy everything on this list. It's interesting. Blink is on there. I suppose a lot of people are betting uh, that that's that Blink is going to go down. Uh, Cinemark Holdings, similar to AMC, right in the movie theater. Uh, a market there, okay? It's interesting to see what's on there. And so you can check this every day if you want to. Fubo, there's GameStop. GameStop, interesting, still over 30% short float. Some folks are not, and some institutions, I guess, are just not giving up on their short positions. Oh boy, okay. I mean, even Citron and Mel uh, Melvin had to give up. Uh, so Candy Technologies, Koss is there. Look at Koss. Uh, I, sh I should click on that one. That's uh, another example. Uh, up 480% in one day. Look at that candle. And yet still, there are people who are shorting it. Uh, I do not envy them if they got caught. All right, And I do not recommend holding on to a position that is dangerous for you, although you might have to in some positions. All right, So uh, that is what it's all about. All right, uh, If it's not for you, that's cool. You don't have to do it. Uh, but at least, hopefully, now you have a, a greater understanding of what's going on with the short float, what it means, and whether you should even consider trading it is up to you. All right, don't do something because somebody in a video talks about it. All right, I don't recommend every strategy that I talk about. Okay, so <laughs> it's something for you to decide. All right, uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. Please be careful. Uh, don't blow out your account and, and put yourself in a bad position. Uh, because of some risky strategy. All right, thanks a lot. I will talk to you again soon.